Hey guys, it's Ray. So for this, I'm going to be creating this pattern simulating the shape of like melting or just some dripping effect. It just took me a while to just choose the one that I liked the most. And one thing that I would just suggest you to do is just make them as uneven, as just an, as messy as possible. You know what I mean? Not to the extreme that it will look bad, but just think that when something is melting like ice cream, what it looks like. And I'm doing that in a piece of paper. I'm going to be using this clear phone case that I got off of Amazon. I'm going to try to link it below if i can find this exact one that i used searching for the image that i like the most because this image is going to be the pattern that i'm going to be going to be painting i'm going to be changing a few things just to make the shape a bit more fun i'm going to be taking my sharpie and just mark the shape so it stands out from the rest and i can cut it for this i'm going to be using my craft mat i do have the review for this one it's pretty stained by now because i use it all the time tracing the shape again on a clear piece of paper because the one that i was using was like kind of like messy and all over the place so this is going to be a clear design for that i'm going to be using an acetate sheet place my clear phone case on top of that upside down tracing the shape of my phone case on my acetate sheet with a pencil cutting that for the camera gap i used detail scissors they work better for this kinds of like smaller shapes like this i'm going to be placing my uh, sheer acetate sheet and then arrange it and i'm going to be working on the back of this meaning that it, the whatever i paint is going to be almost looking like I printed this hopefully placing my acetate cut out on top of my drawing and then just place my pattern at the bottom of this I'm going to be using all acrylic paints this purple one then I'm using this mustard in this fuchsia colors both I made myself like I customized both I do have both DIY showing you how to make those then I have this teal color is called aquamarine this bright orange and this cool blue you don't have to use these exact ones that I'm using I'm just sharing the ones that I've used but feel free to work with anything that you have remember we're working on the back of the acetate cutout I'm going to be starting with the purple one and I'm painting each like melted shape or just like each dripping with a different color for this I'm going to be using this really nasty looking I forgot the name of them but it's like a reusable makeup remover and it looks like this because I use it all the time and it kind of stained at this point but yeah it's clean but I'm going to be using that to clean my brush in between colors feel free to use a napkin if you prefer I just use it because I just reuse it so yeah wiping this after each color and then just moving on to the next one before the previous color starts to dry i'm going to be blending them too and it works best when your brush is kind of damped pretty much like almost overlapping both of those colors that i'm uh, blending doing pretty much that for all of them the order of colors pretty much depends on you and your personal preference i went for this like order and doing the same thing just adding the color cleaning the brush adding the next color before my previous one dries blending them like this it's actually pretty easy and then just going to the front and just checking if you like what you see because that is going to be what the design will look like for the bottom part i'm changing a few things uh to the pattern just so that it looks a bit different but doing the same thing as far as like how i'm going to be painting this and then the one on top i used my teal in the middle for this one i chose to use my mustard in the middle and then just go from there by the way i use this uh, brush method just to blend in between colors because previously i used a sponge if you were wondering if you could use a sponge as i did at the beginning i mean you can but this is kind of like the result you get and i switched to brush because i really didn't like the yeah the result that i was getting now i'm going to be taking my white acrylic paint and this tool that i do have the diy showing you how to make it's pretty much a toothpick holder i use toothpick sometimes as brushes especially for those kinds of things just to paint like details like this outlining everything it's really easy just pick up some paint with my toothpick and then just trace following the shape as if this was a marker or a pencil a handy and cool thing of working with acetate sheet is that if you make a mistake you can just remove it if you think you went too far or you didn't like the design turning this to the front as i'm going to be using this cleaning everything for that i'm going to be using some acetone that i have in this dispenser and i do have the review for this one if you want to check it out and a cotton pad and i'm going to be cleaning this just because it has acrylic paint smeared all over the place place it in your phone case 
and that's pretty much it guys in person it looks like so much fun and just so summery even though it's almost fall but it's like melted summer so it's like the summer is like melting itself so that fall can come true that's why i named this one like this i choose my phone to record this so i can show you what it looks like with the phone in there hopefully you can kind of see there but yeah hopefully you like this and you like the color combination that i went for and if you did don't forget to give this a thumbs up it helps a lot thank you so much for watching i'll talk to you later and take care Bye.